what's up hello everyone this is kelly from house of virgo welcome back to my channel this is a virgo channel only if you are new for virgo sun moon rising or venus hey everybody in the chat please do it like share and subscribe if you have a moment i would greatly appreciate it um okay please remember to join my channel i will be going live doing live stream person uh personal free readings on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, members only live stream chat. So if you join the channel, there's a link below. Um, you could also join from your desktop, I believe. Or when you see the chat, just pop in and then hit the join button and you can ask me any question you like. Okay, Virgos, how are you guys doing? Hello everyone in the chat. Take a look here and see what your messages are going forward also do check out my other channel moon kai tarot i upload all 12 zodiac signs for every 10 days you can get messages there as well okay let's take a look okay Ooh, the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego okay so either either somebody here is a runner or you're currently running while you're listening to this fitness routine um or someone that you're connected with is but the runner in the tarot reading here represents someone it's the chaser runner energy someone here is a runner runs away from confrontation runs away from intimacy What a surprise, okay. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection, okay. So I feel like that you've got somebody here that, like I was saying, when times get tough, the tough get going, um, <laughs> but not in a positive way. I feel like somebody runs away and then you run away. Somebody disappears and then you disappear. And then they come back and then you come back. And then it's like re mirroring each other is what I feel this energy is here. Okay. Um, somebody here needs to learn to stay in the circle, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. Cause I'm looking at this mirror and I'm seeing a circle. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody, when they get close to you, um, this person runs because they don't like what you reflect back to them. I don't know if this person, people like, I guess who run usually, they're running, really running from themselves. When you're in a relationship with someone, you get closer, the intimacy, um, that's when the vulnerability happens. And it feels like this person, as soon as that vulnerability opportunity comes up, they show up in that way then they're like no nope, i'm out of here i can't face myself when i look into your eyes i see myself and i can't face it so there's that running away okay coffin endings new beginnings endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition so virgo a lot of you are aware of this energy and i see you you're just like nope I'm changing, I'm growing, I'm liberating myself from this situation, this connection, this, somebody just keeps, maybe somebody's running away or they just keep running away from getting close and then there's never, it's always like a false start. And someone, you know, you get, two people get ready and they get kind of like in gear, like they're at the starting gate and then as soon as the gun goes off, nobody goes it just doesn't take off it just doesn't go anywhere or it hasn't gone anywhere and you guys are just i see you you're you're putting it in every time this person runs away it seems as if like they're ending it you know and for some like i don't know if this person comes back to you or you go back to them or this this cycle just keeps repeating itself here i know a lot of you are just like nope put an end to it and bring on the new beginnings 2020, no, 2022, new year, new you, okay? You're really making some kind of transition. You're liberating yourself. This person maybe has run away from the last time and 
it's a very codependent relationship it's kind of like two people acting acting out codependent behaviors with each other therefore making the relationship very toxic and the coffin is here to say changing it and this person might be might have run away and it might be like done now they're gone it's over but this is your reading virgo so i feel like as far as you are concerned you're putting the nail in the coffin here and you're like rest in peace and rest in peace <laughs> run from somebody else all right let's see what other messages there are here for you okay so cancer piscean energy you've got the moon um there's definitely illusions here but this is like this isn't it just feels like an energy of someone who's like torn between being wild and free and then being more domesticated and committing okay so i feel like this might be somebody in your life or that you just have a connection with where they are kind of feels like um like they lie to themselves the moon is a very reflective energy as well you know the moon doesn't have its own power it just reflects the power from from the sun so the moon's power is really just in its pull, but it doesn't it doesn't know how to reflect. And I feel like that's the dichotomy of the relationship with somebody here, this person, you know, they gain their power from others, <clears throat> but then when it comes time to like seeing themselves, when the light starts to shine on them, then they run, they run away. They don't like what they see. They don't like what's in the mirror. The, the mirror is a very reflective energy, similar to the moon. <clears throat> but the moon is illusionary. The moon, you know, you, you think it's giving off light, but it's really not. It's just giving off the sunlight. So it's kind of like false light, I guess, in a way, you know. And the moon energy is all about, like, deception and lies, you know. So there's somebody here who just self-deceives, deceives themselves or and deceives others. They make it seem as if the light that they're bringing is really coming from them, but it's not. It's light that they've taken from another or from others. And then they shoot that outward to make it make it seem <clears throat> to you like it was real and it was true, but it was borrowed. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like borrowed light because if the sun's gone, the moon doesn't exist. There's no light from the moon without the sun. You are the sun. You had the positive energy. This person coexisted. I feel their light actually came from you. They don't have the ability to pull the light from themselves. And what happens when the sun comes out, the moon goes down. And that's that running energy. So every time you shine your light, every time you get brighter, this person, they run away from that. You know? Um, until it's time for them to come back and reflect again. It's so crazy deep psychological. It's like insane. I can't, sometimes I'm like, what is with these messages? Okay, twin flame. It feels very karmic, I'm not gonna lie. The lovers, Gemini energy here, okay. You, Virgo, I feel like always looking up at the light, looking up at the heavens, look at the sun, light there. And this person, never looking at the light, always afraid if they look at the light, they'll get burned, you know? This person looking down, has more of like a, uh, you know, male or female. This per the one looking down has more of like, um, always in thought, <clears throat> excuse me. Looking down, it, like when someone's walking and they're looking down a lot, they're very, maybe very introverted or shy, or they just have a very melancholy, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of like depressed look. Whereas another person's always looking up at the light and gaining strength from source, okay? I don't feel like this person really knows how to gain strength from source. They may not have any other kind of source in their life. You might have become their source and that in turn created a codependent relationship. The moon reflecting its light actually from the sun. You are the sun. You are the shining bright light in this person's life. You needed them to be a sun as well to create a power couple and this person could not do it because they were the moon. 
this person, there's definitely an energy of like, they're very curious about you. Um, it's crazy. This I feel like this person's watching you. They're spying on you. Um, they're, they're, they're prying, trying to see what you're doing or what you're up to at this time. You know, they have a very keen, keen interest in you. Hmm. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody you're currently dealing with. This could have been someone from your past. This could be somebody coming up into your life soon, okay? This could be a family member, a friend, or uh, a colleague. Um, it could be a lover, right? So keep that in mind that not all these, re I mean, the readings are general. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a past person. It's just an energy that um, you need to know about, okay? A very mature energy, very childlike, um, immature, childish kind of energy with the page. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some kind of a message from somebody coming up in this month of January. Um, um, this person asking, like, if you've made some kind of a decision about something or... Um, hmm... I feel like this person may be asking you... Um, for some of you asking if you will wait for them um, somewhere or just in general, if you if you will wait for this person or they'll ask you if you are waiting for them or if you're still there or if you're still available or they may be seeing or looking to see if you're still going to be available to them in the future. I, I honestly feel like this person is not going to um, you know, let go. Code codependent relationships are very difficult to break. Um, if you ever have um, a kind of a connection with someone where it's like never ending, <laughs> but it's not um, it's not healthy. Um, it's because it's probably it probably has an element of codependency. Okay, um, and if you're not really familiar with codependent behavior or relationships, it's maybe helpful for you to look it up. I'm not really trained to give. <laughs> an actual, I don't even know if that's in the DSM, but I'm not really trained to give an actual. It's just two people who are very dependent on each other for light rather than depending on source. Um, maybe you became that way with this person. Some of you are getting your, your light back at this time. <clears throat> yeah, here you are. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. And this person is looking at you and they see that you are um, single as a Pringle. Looks like you're you're doing your own thing, Virgo. You're looking good. You're 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 getting your yourself physically looking good, mentally, your money, career. Um, even if you're not, this is how they view you. Okay, um, they look at you as like someone who just prefers to stay solo. I'm just hearing um, somebody's birthday is September second. So if that resonates, this this will be your reading. <clears throat> doesn't mean if your birthday isn't called, it's not your reading, but I feel like this person, they see that, they see now, like, or they sense, or they know, or they find out that you are on your own um, in the sense where, like, you're available for others, okay? You may have somebody else in your life, you may not. I'm not really, sh I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing that you are not, you're not with them this is what I feel like this person is picking up that energy that you are, like I said, put the nail in the coffin there. <laughs> I just want to give an energy um, check with this moon and the lovers here, because I do feel like this person does um, feel like you are their other half. You are the one for them. <laughs> like there isn't anybody for them. You are the one that they love. Or they will feel this way going forward. Um, the moon, okay. Yeah, five of pentacles. This person is definitely, so to clarify, the moon is, it's like a lacking, someone who has got like a real poverty mindset, okay. That's why they have to reflect. That's why they have to drain the light from other people in order to feel like they're whole and drain it from you because they're lacking in some way. Okay, um, it's ill health. So that could be mental health, physical health, um, isolation. This person could be like going through some financial struggle. Um, be careful of anyone that tries to latch onto you for financial reasons. 
Let's take a look at the, because there's a decision here as well being made. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like if you've put the nail in the coffin, so to speak, with this person, if you decided that you're no longer entertaining this connection or you, you have no interest in entertaining it any longer, I do feel like this person is, is going to try to, they're in decision mode right now and I feel like they want to know if you're going to still be available because with the Three of Pentacles, they do, they are going to try to um, come forward and see if you guys can't make something work, okay? Build something together. Um, sometimes the Three of Pentacles can be marriage. So I do feel like, and so can the lovers. So I do feel like this is on their mind. They are thinking about this at this time. They want to learn some new skills. You know, um, I'm not trying to give you any hope here, Virgo. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to give you the message here. Um, or this person could be currently trying to... Um, it could be currently trying to learn about love. Maybe they're getting some healing in. We'll see. I mean, if the star card shows up, maybe there's some healing going on with this person. You know, I mean, it's it's fine if you're like, you know, you're moving on. You don't want to have this connection with this person anymore. You know, it's then fine. Or if this is somebody new, you could meet somebody new who kind of has similarity to someone in the past that you were connected with. You might have a fear that somebody's going to run away. But I feel like a new person coming in here could very well be, um, you know, single as well. Okay. Just like you. And this person, I feel like maybe in the past, has had some kind of issues that were similar to what you went through in the past, but I, I'm, I'm definitely picking up an energy of like, wait, I gotta stop. I gotta, t I gotta check myself. Um, I gotta, maybe they're getting some life coaching or they're reading some books about healing or looking at some articles online, you know, or um, maybe they're listening to YouTube videos, you know, or trying to maybe getting some counseling or some therapy. There's a, there's a huge curiosity um, with this person uh, for understanding is how I feel. All right, let's see. Okay, look at all this. Five of Wands energy. So this person has a lot of conflict and you and they may have had, um, I feel like there was a lot of conflict or competition. You know, codependent relationships can always have an element of competition and challenges. Obstacles, definitely. Um, <clears throat> okay. But the death card is here. So kind of like putting an end to that is what I feel is happening here in this person's life, whoever they may be for you. That's Scorpionic energy here. With endings come new beginnings, as always with the death card. Um, there might have been a lot of stagnation um, and disappointment or a sense of feeling stuck. In th This person may have felt that way in their life, maybe all of their life. And you may have gotten into that same position with this person where you felt stuck or stagnate, stagnated or stagnant, is that the word, in this relationship or this connection. Um, whoever they are, it feels like there's some changes happening. Okay. Um, big changes. This person, I feel like there's a rebirth. Um, this person's moving on from... <clears throat> the obstacles or the challenges in some way, definitely expect some kind of a message, okay? You know, if you're open and willing to want to try to work some, something out, you may wait to hear what they have to say. For others, it's just like, nah, okay? Okay, there's a, there's, a, there's a new opportunity coming here and I feel like somebody here wants to give you a new opportunity. Um, in other words, like they want to present something to you um in the sense of like here they want to make a big investment in this connection with you okay <clears throat> now like i said this could be somebody new coming in here so it could be a gemini for some pisces cancer scorpio um okay there's a lot of grief here with somebody somebody's still in a position of you know it could be remorse or grief and that could be 
um, inspiring someone here to come in with some a gift or some kind of um, a new solid offer it feels it really feels to me like there's um, a lot of grief and remorse about something that may have ended about um, not being able to overcome some obstacles there's some shadow work here okay somebody somebody felt like kind of um, like I was saying a bit melancholy or kind of down that something could not keep going and I, it might be because you are just like <clears throat> oh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to sneeze on the camera. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That's why I haven't been making the videos because I get, I'm i like having sneezing fests. And right now, it, I hope it doesn't come back. But I've been sneezing so much that I, I can't even like make the videos because I've been sneezing so damn much. It's going to be snotting all over these cards. It's disgusting. So... Yeah, there's an energy of somebody here. Okay, I was like, no, I'm not gonna pick this up. But then I decided, yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. All right, so <clears throat> the lovers again, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Whoever this person is, new or old, no more running away, ready to commit, okay? Because the Seven of Swords and the upgrade of someone this is a runner. This person, I don't know what they're going through. I don't know what they're doing exactly, but there's an energy here of like done running. Remember I was saying some kind of healing. So you could be meeting somebody new here who is, they were run, they were a runner in the past and now that's, they're done with running. Now they're ready to get serious. Now that could be somebody new or somebody old, okay? And I'm just putting that out there, okay? A lot of grief. This person is in a place of sorrow, regret, remorse. And I gotta say, if it's regret, that's a shame because regret lasts a lifetime. Remorse, uh, you, you can heal from remorse. You can get over that. But I feel it's, um, it's mostly loss and regret. Okay, this person feels abandoned or unloved. <clears throat> Are they getting in their healing? Okay, I do feel like, yes, uh, they're working on it. <clears throat> excuse me and I do feel like they're making these changes here by the first step is that they're not running away anymore they're not running from confrontation they're not running from a fear of intimacy they're not listening to their ego because their ego is what always made them run in the past okay trying to heal a codependent relationship and how does it how do you heal that by like embracing it and confronting and staying in it and dealing with the issues as well as resolving the problems and re enjoying the love without manipulation okay so let me see here what else is going on okay two of pentacles so somebody is definitely they have some choices to make here okay they're weighing some options they're weighing some things out what are they weighing out what are they looking at here? Because the lovers is also a card of um, decision. So, so it feels like the, the energy that surrounds them because of their loss or regret or remorse or whatever, the sadness, the melancholy that they're feeling, it's like everything around them is, it's not them telling themselves to reach out to you. It's like, the energy around them. That's what the ace is. It's not a decision. You see how that hand comes out from the clouds? It's like spirit is telling this person, like, you must do this. You know how everything just feels a particular way and it's, you could be locked up in a room, uh, you know, for like a week and something just comes to you and just, it's like, you know, it's time for something. And that's what's happening here. This person is like, a gift that comes to them that tells them it's time to make a move here and do something about this you know and I feel like what they're contemplating or the option that they're weighing is making some kind of offer because the page of Pentacles energy is is always someone who's had who, like the, it's someone of ideas right so it's like thinking about 
how to approach. I'm thinking about um, reaching out and making that actual offer, you know? <clears throat> and it feels mostly because of the infinity symbol here, it's mostly of like, when is the right time? When is the right time to come forward? This person really struggles. They struggle with stuff, okay? Um, whatever, everybody does, right? Everybody's got stuff. Look, here's the King of Wands again, on the bottom of the deck. So double fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could also be um, with the Aries energy, Mars ruling planet could be Scorpio. We said that here, okay? So, There's definitely, I, I like that there is, you just said get another card. Okay, fighting for what, fighting for what they want. Standing, taking the high ground, standing up, okay? And again, like I said, it could be a lover, it could be a friend. I feel like, <clears throat> It's really key that you understand and not, it's not that you need to do anything about this, but I feel like the message that's really key to understand and that some of you already know and some of you don't know, like I know a lot of you are like, why does this person keep running away? Or why, you know, why does somebody run away in general? You know, like I said, this person did not have to, to produce their own light, okay? Maybe they didn't have faith, they didn't have spirit, or they didn't have a source within them that said, I am good enough. I don't need to borrow light from other people. Um, I don't need to, you know, ride the coattails of other people who had more light than I did. I, I can, I feel like this person is learning how to produce their own light. Going from that, that moon into that sun energy, just like where you are, Okay, and definitely a dark night of the soul energy. <laughs> Picking up, falling out here. It, and it's, it's something to be said. It really is. Let's just take a look real quick at this death card. What's going on here? Because there's definitely, um, I feel like it's not transition. It's not going from point A to point B. It's transformation. It's going from a caterpillar to a butterfly major transformation here let me see show me why is this death card what is this transformation yeah it does feel like coming to some kind of source of light some spiritual healing wow now they're reflecting but within see look at the hermit here okay see the hermit he's holding his own light now he's not borrowing light from anyone this hermit is now holding their own light okay maybe you had another virgo you were connecting with um but this person is also transitioning look they look at you because that's your card as someone who lights the way for other people and you have your own source of light and i feel like that's what they're transforming is learning how to have that themselves this is a really deep spiritual reading. Okay, oh wow, four of cups in the reverse. So this is beautiful. This is having a new outlook, direction, and, and a new option, a new beginning, right? It's no longer being indifferent to love or um, feeling like not good enough, you know? Um, no surprises here. It, it definitely feels promising with this energy. But let's take a look at you. I kind of just, you know, I don't know that I've really done that lately. And I want to see what your energy is showing up here. How are you doing? What's going on with you? What's going on with Virgo? What's Virgo's energy? Okay, Virgo's released themselves. You have released yourself. You are not, if you were codependent in this relationship as well, you are no longer staying in that victim mentality, okay? Eight of Swords reversed, you're releasing. You have your hope back again. You've escaped something. Again, liberation and freedom. 
that's what we have here liberation with this this coffin so a lot of you guys have just said no i'm done with this right you might have been you were felt stuck or trapped or you had like some mental affliction because of something upside down all those swords are released you know like you no longer have that trapped mentality here so you're releasing releasing all the past um you get you're getting your hope back again for new love um, and I do feel like there could be somebody new coming into your life in January who has gone through a similar situation as you. And this might be something that you guys have a conversation if you meet or you talk or some of you are going to meet this person while you're out like walking somewhere. <laughs> I know like there's in some areas there's a lot of snow and nobody's walking anywhere. But there might be like, oh, look, here's a star. That's what I said. There might be like a um, track or something, or maybe an indoor, like, or maybe on a treadmill. Or I don't know. Like, may, okay, so I'm saying like, maybe while you're working out or you're doing whatever you're doing. But look at you. You've got the stars, Aquarian energy. See, so you're healing. Wow, you've got your hope back. These are both cards of renewal. Okay. Some of you do want to renew a connection with someone from your past. Um, and you may try to, you may, if this person comes in in a different way, sure. Um, if they really are getting their healing in and they're really like making those changes and vice versa. Remember these readings could be reversed, but with that star card, um, some of you are feeling like, like a lucky star right now. Maybe you're in the public eye. Um, maybe you work somewhere where people can see you or you're, some of you could be well known in some ways, um, but that star card is like inner clarity. Like you're, you're getting some miracles happening here for you. Having faith, again, you're getting your faith back. Some of you just needed to break a cycle in a relationship and either move on to somebody new or just get yourself in a, break the cycle and the patterns and get yourself in a better position. Um, which is very promising for you. There's hope. There's hope. You're getting your hope back, and it's good. Oh, look, you've got the Ace of Cups. So you're ready for new love. You're just like, as soon as Spirit shows me, like, bring it. You're hopeful. There's blessings here coming down from above. And I feel like a lot of you, that's all you needed to do is just break this cycle. Cycles are not, cycles of habits and patterns are difficult to break, of course, for everybody. I mean, 21 days and you're good. But um, if you're diligent, but I definitely see um, new love coming in here for you. Okay. So, you know, some of you might just be happy to hear someone from your past is getting the healing that they needed to get, you know, or someone that you're currently connected to. Is there a new hope? For this relationship, of course. Can it be healed? Of course. If both people are willing to heal it, it can't just be one of you. <clears throat> because then it's like, you know, you can love someone, but if someone's bringing toxicity in, you know, you got to put some distance in that connection and, and, and put some boundaries up here. But for those of you who are just like, no, like I said, nails in the coffin, I've ended it, rest in peace. Um, there's definitely, that was a necessary transition for you to bring the hope back into your life again, that you could be loved again, or that you could love again. Okay. Hmm. Death in reverse. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. I get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. They just said, um, now, as far as staying stuck before, maybe you were stuck in something that wasn't healthy for you. Now you're making sure you stay stuck in only things that are healthy and are blessings for you. That's all that means. Okay. You're not stuck in the past. I don't feel like that. I feel like you've broken free from that. Now you're, you're stuck in a new beginning. Like a lot of you have just, you got your feet firmly planted in the ground in 2022, as far as a new start and a new beginning in your life. Some of you have completely said, moving on, I'm single as a Pringle, I'm not doing any more shit stain type relationships, codependent relationships, toxic type of relationships. And even if that means you're saying to yourself, I hear you, I have to stay single for a while until something healthier or someone comes 
someone shows up who's willing to build a healthy relationship, not everybody's going to come in healthy. All right. And, and so you'd be fooling yourself to think that, you know, oh, I'm going to meet somebody and it's going to be great. I mean, you might as well just try your hand at the, at the jackpot. You know, I mean, everybody's got stuff. Everybody's got issues. Everybody's unhealthy to some degree. Some people have baggage, you know, whatever. But finding someone who's capable, willing, and motivated to build a healthy relationship is a plus, okay? And it's never going to be perfect, but as long as it's progressive. Anyone who is doesn't have one of those three or all three of those elements there, that leaves you stuck, okay? That's like a black cloud that hovers and it just never goes away. And that's not where you're at, Virgo. You don't, I don't really feel like you want that energy for yourself, all right? Let's get a couple of moon pie cards and see what other messages that are here for you. So yeah, you definitely, I do feel, don't argue with me. I know a lot of you are like, I'm sick of the past. Where's this new love coming in? I see it. I see it right here. It's up to you. Okay. Those of you who are, you know, you're single and you're looking for new love or you're making yourself, you healed and you're doing all the work and you're moving forward, then yes, of course it's coming in for you. But I can't not talk about someone from your past um, that you may have been involved with. I don't know why I need to talk about it. Maybe we should just find ways to do different spreads and never talk about the past. Um, we'll see how that goes. All right, what is what other messages for Virgo here? Direct honest female. Okay, so there's gonna be somebody showing up in this month. This may be air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a female who comes in speaking nothing but truth. This female is very self-sufficient and she's like, she's honest. She's not, um, she's not cold and unkind, but she is very truthful. Like she'll give it to you, she'll give you the truth, but then she'll deliver her truth in a nice way, okay? She's very, she's very intentional. She doesn't mince words, I can definitely tell you that. So she's gonna be uh, present in your life. It could be this person coming in who's new. It could just be a friend could be anybody, but she's got something to say. Oh, okay, so this is somebody coming in who's gonna say to you, she's gonna give you some truth. <laughs> she's gonna tell you. She's gonna tell you to start your life over. That's what she's gonna say, okay? It could be, it could be a male as well. She's gonna say, yo, time for a new chapter, Virgo. Enough for looking back on the past. If you gotta look one more time, go ahead. But do it only to help write the next chapter of your new book, okay? You know, learn the lessons. She's gonna tell you or ask you, like, let's go traveling. Listen, let's go explore the world. You know, let's go, you need to meet new people, Virgo. You need to learn, you need to start living your best life and allow this past situation to cycle out. Now. I feel like her intentions are good for you. I feel like she wants you to see the open road that's ahead of you, okay? Um, she may wanna go on this journey with you, or she may just say to you, you know, you need to get out there on your own and explore and see what else is out there. Okay, this could be a very good friend who's just looking out for you. This could be a lover coming in as well who's saying the same thing. I mean, I feel like this direct honest female has clarity, it's a Libra, okay. Um, new love beginnings, That's it could be a mother as well, trying to give you some guidance, okay? Telling you you're divinely blessed. She may be saying to you, open your heart, love is coming, don't have a closed heart, you know? Um, be one with love, that's what she's gonna say to you, okay? She might even be someone coming in who's new, also just telling you, you know, you can have this new love, we can do this, you know, if it's somebody that you're connecting already with, you know, this person is like ready to start a new chapter in life and have a new beginning, okay? Um, she comes in uh, in an empress energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Her energy is like, she's ready to create. She's full of abundance. She may even have children, um, he or she uh, may have children, um, a good parent, there might be something here 
where like you guys connect and then introduce each other's children and then there's like a, fa a new family gets a blended family gets happen in here you know I just feel like there's somebody coming in here who's like trying to give you a nudge give you some hope <clears throat> she may even be supportive if you decide to heal a past relationship and she may but she may say to you that's fine just don't go back in the same direction do it differently this time okay bossy male again that's three times now we're showing up here with that fire energy okay Whatever's going on here, Virgo, for you, I can tell you if it's if it's a past thing or a new thing, I can definitely tell you that the wheel is in your favor now. You have the leverage, you have the upper hand because you're honoring yourself <clears throat> because you deserve this. Karma is on your side. That's all I can tell you. And I feel like everything is gonna come back around like the wheel of fortune. Um, whatever risks you take will pan out here in your life there's a turning point that's happening here for you in your life and this is really really important this turning point you have crossed over um, some of you have soul contracts have been fulfilled some of you are starting new cycles you're on like we're in a brand new year as well so there's a lot of new beginnings and new things beginning to happen for you here and I feel like even your money's gonna be good right it's just I just keep hearing that song, uh, so fresh and so clean. Andre 3000, was that the name of the band? It's such an early 2000s song. So fresh and so clean. And I feel like that's your theme song. <laughs> I don't remember the words and I can't play it because then I'll get a copyright strike, but so fresh and so clean. That's your song, play that song. Cleaning the slate, starting over. Okay, new chapter. Okay, transition. The end to suffering is upon you. Out with the old and with the new. That's what I said. No one said it would be easy or has been. The season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new season. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. So, awesome. I feel like a lot of you don't need to hear this. You're already on that, that path. You're just done with the runner chaser stuff. Test of faith and boundaries. Okay. So even if this is somebody coming back in or somebody new, um, you're going to be tested here. And what that means is like, make sure that you have your boundaries up. You don't get yourself into a codependent relationship. Look for the signs because you can, you're not trying to take on any new projects here. Okay. And you're not a counselor. And if you are, you shouldn't be counseling your lover. You can love somebody and you can lead them, you know, or guide them, but you can't, it, it's too much work. If you're waiting around and trying to fix somebody, you got to move on. And when somebody comes back, if they're not, if they're coming back without arguing, that's weird. Why is my camera? Is it always backwards? Huh? Is my camera seriously backwards? I never noticed. Maybe it's, maybe you can't see it. If, if I don't know. I, once I upload the video, I'll know. They won't come. Th this person, if somebody's coming back here and they're not going to argue with you and they're not going to threaten to leave or um, separate from the connection, that's what you, that's the test here. Okay. If you're taking somebody, if they're coming back in, the test here is you need to see if this person is going to give you a hard time. Um, because you're having your growth and you're maturing, if they're gonna give you a hard time about that, or if they're going to leave again, don't. So I, I feel like the message here is you gotta have your boundaries, which means guard your heart. If you're gonna take somebody back in, this person needs to come in. And you know, if they were the ones who left the relationship or did toxic things, you know, if they were the ones who were the, who was the runner and ran away, um, they you gotta see you got to put them to the test to see, oh, okay. So you're saying you want to come back in. Well, that's lip service. Show me. And that, that feels to me like that's where your energy is at. And it's not only with somebody in the past. It's also somebody new. Anybody you get back into, it's not that you are walking around with the cautious stick, but I do feel like you're kind of like, wait a minute now. I'm not getting back into something again with someone. I need to see that this person is going to follow through. They need to have integrity. Boom, lightning strikes. 
This is tower energy. Okay. After every storm comes the washing away. Stand firmly in the ground and know all of this is for your best interest. Okay. So what I feel like is happening here is that whatever was in the past in your life, people, places, or things, all that has been destroyed. There's a, again, fresh and clean. There's a fresh, brand new slate that you're starting. And although at this time in your life, you may not be feeling the results or seeing the results, some of you just got started, okay? Give it time. Give some, you have to, time is everything. You have to give things time here. And that's what I feel like is going on here. Um, hmm. Let's get some messages of love. Okay, messages of love for Virgo. What are the love messages for Virgo? I'm proud of you guys. It sounds like you guys are really like having an awakening, or some of you. Um, just know, I think we're still in Venus retrograde, and if that, I can't be sure because I didn't write it down. But if we are, there could be um, some recommunication with someone before the retrograde ends, if it's not already happening. All right, let's take a look. Okay, that's what I was saying. I don't even know if I need to pull more cards. I feel like we had this the other day too. New love, okay? There's a new love coming or a recommitment is to love is developing. Is my camera reversed? No, it's not. It just must be me. New love or recommitment to love is developing, okay? So this can go either way, right? So it doesn't mean, just because you say you don't want it doesn't mean it's someone from your past is not gonna come back. You can tell me to your blue in the face, I don't want that. And done with that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just giving you the message here, right? Just because you don't want it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. You know, you can't will what somebody else can do. All you can do is, you know, you don't want to back, fine. You don't want it back. Keep the door shut, right? New love is coming too. You can't, you can't, just because you don't, just because you want new love doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, I'm giving the message that this is what's coming through here for you. Whatever you do with that is on you, right? Something is developing here. Okay, retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So some of you might be getting into this position where you're like, oh shit, the past coming back. Oh shit, so many news coming in. I gotta retreat for a little bit. Some of you, that's why you get mad because you, you get mad at me, but you shouldn't be getting mad at me. It's yourselves because you really aren't sure. Some of you, not all of you. Some of you are just like, no, I'm sure. I'm not going back. I'm ready for new love. But some of you might retreat a little bit. You don't wanna rush into anything and that's fine. I don't think you should rush ever into anything and I don't think you really should ever let anyone rush you into anything either. Um, a little bit of time in, in nature. <laughs> Shut off your phone, recharge it later. Okay, someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. A lot of you, and I was saying that before, your, your transformation is the word. A lot of you are going through a spiritual change. You're getting closer to higher source, higher power, you're strengthening your bonds with God. You're, you, whatever you're doing here, you're having some kind of an awakening. You're re-seeing, are you seeing your value once again, which is really important. You're not taking on like in a codependent relationship where you're owning somebody else's emotional issues or problems and, and vice versa. You know, you're, 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 no, you're, you're learning where to draw lines with people. Like, okay, that's how you feel. That's your, you gotta own those emotions. I'm not gonna ado adopt them. That's how you feel, I acknowledge, I accept, I see you, okay? But I have my own set of emotions, this is how I feel, and I'm acknowledging myself, which is really, really important for you, Virgo. And a decision, time to decide about this relationship, okay? There's definitely gonna be a decision time about some relationship, whether it's the past or, the, or someone you're currently dealing with or a future, somebody coming in. You're, you're, you're gonna be on, <laughs> I felt like that. This person, like I said, somebody coming in and asking you, you know, where are you at? Where are you at with things? You know, um, have you made a decision or a choice about something? Okay. Um, Cause you could be getting uh, an invitation. You could be getting, like I said, communication. Somebody could be asking you out um, or um, trying to 
you know, reconnect with you again. And there's some kind of decision that you're going to have to make during this time period. You know, I had two lovers cards, so decision all over the place there. What you choose to do, I don't really know. I definitely know that the energy is going to be kicking up again for you here, if it's not already. Some of you might already be involved with somebody, and then somebody else, it could be a new lover coming in, you know. I just feel, Virgo, that you're in this place where I'm not making any decisions yet until I'm sure that this is good for me. And not only what I want, I feel like you know that you want love, but um, I feel like you're in this place of like, okay, it's unreasonable for me to expect someone perfect to come in. But I can, it's okay for me to expect someone perfect for me to come in. It's unreasonable for me to expect someone is going to come in on a gold, like dressed in gold and shiny and they may be brand new, but it's important and responsible for me to look at this person coming in and asking myself, or asking them, who are you? What do you stand for? What are you about? Are we equally yoked with each other? Or are you just, like, you got to take time to vet people, you know? And, and be in that position where you're ready for that, you know, because I feel like a lot of people, you know, and it's just my personal opinion. I feel like a lot of people, they get all hyped up about a relationship and then they're like gun ho on each other. And then after a while, you know, the rose colored glasses kind of fade. And then it's like, oh, now I've already released my heart to this person and I did it too fast. And now I, I, and now I see this person. Now I'm not so sure that I want to be with them. Instead of just going slow and taking time to get to know somebody and seeing actually what they're about and just holding the feelings back for a little bit um, before investing, you know? It's really important <laughs> to do that, you know? And I get it, it's, it's, it's not easy because when you've got that lustful attraction and that physical thing, you just wanna run with it and it makes you feel good and it's that dopamine hit, but then when it comes time to make a decision to further the relationship, at that point, you guys might already be at this place where it's like, oh wait, you sleep with your socks on? Oh wait, you shower every other day? Or, <laughs> you know, all the daily stuff comes in and some of you, some of you might be picky or some of you might be okay with that, you know, but I, I always feel like never make a decision, uh, never make a, a, a life choice when you're stoned <laughs> or when you're drunk on love. Never make big major decisions like that unless you're sober. <laughs> and I don't necessarily mean sober like from drugs and alcohol. I just mean like that you have a sober, sound mind about who somebody is. <laughs> All right. I know some of you are like stoned. Who said stoned? I don't smoke weed. It's not because I'm anti-weed. It's just that, I don't know. I I'm kind of like, I think it, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like weed would relax me. And so I just, I, I smoked it once when I was like 16 and I never tried it again. And I don't know, it's just not for me. All right, let's see. I'll, like I'll have a drink once in a while, but I'm more like, I don't know, give me some melatonin. That relaxes me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what your um, dates, birth dates, messages, names, initials, what have you. Oh my God, that's like what? Three or four times? Transformation, again. I'm telling you, this card, I'm, I know what I'm gonna call this reading, like it's just nothing, trans it's all transformation, major transformations. Okay, somebody's initial starts with a C and we also have the 16th, could be a birthday or an important date. The 16th I think is Sunday, this Sunday for January. Um, or somebody's birthday on the 16th. Okay, initials P. Okay, somebody's somebody's name uh, starts or ends with a P. Let's see. All these butterflies again with the transformation. Somebody likes the color green. Oh, they're just giving me uh, New York City and all the scaffolding that's on the street, 
an image of New York City with all the scaffolding that's on the street. I don't know what that means. Okay. Scaffolding, you know, on the buildings. Okay. Hmm. Okay, CPU. What is a CPU? Is that a computer thing? CPU? Okay. We have, um, hold on a minute. Um, September 19th. September 19th is showing up here for me. Okay. Somebody likes the Eagles. Well, that was a sign. Did you hear that? Okay. Let's see. And does anybody here, is anybody here or has anybody ever eaten a black and white cookie? Okay, so black and white, yin yang, could be some interracial things going on. I just heard black and white. Okay, or a black and white cookie, weird. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. All right. Okay, they just said somebody sends you an email and they forget, they don't CC it. That's what they're saying. Somebody sends you an email and they don't CC it. Or somebody needs to CC an email, whatever that might mean. Okay, we have the 12th. We have the 12th. And the 4th, I just heard. Okay, somebody is 39 or 43. Um, somebody plays a trumpet or a horn. Okay, and somebody likes the, um, is having rigatoni pasta, pasta, rigatoni, or some kind of pasta. Um, somebody's allergic to cats and rabbits. Cats and bunny rabbits. My card's all upside down. Okay, August. The month of August. Important day, I mean, our important month. The month of August. Could be a um, month, some of you might be August Virgos, or something important happened in the month of August, significant in August. Um, somebody's initials, okay, they're giving me, all right, somebody's eating eggs or likes eggs, they just said. Okay, they're giving me the initials. Um, there's a G and the letter A. I'm also hearing a D, letter D. Wow. Okay, and there's either it's an eight or the number 78, okay. And somebody's feeling very embarrassed about something right now. Someone's feeling very embarrassed about something. Hmm, I'm hearing, um, hang over the next day somebody doesn't remember what they said or what they did there might have been like a drunk call drunk phone call or a text or something or hmm, I'm just here I'm just hearing like hangover and a sense of like oh my god I can't believe I said that or I did that or I it doesn't have to be drunk I, I, something a secret might have came out and somebody's like I can't believe I said that to this person or I did something here very strange energy okay it's like um i don't know if it's like deep shame it's definitely embarrassment or um a little humiliating all right let's do your charms oh definitely got a big ass reindeer here so something might have happened around 
the holidays around Christmas time. Um, hmm. All right, they're just telling me now tomato plants. Tomato plants, tomato vine, a vine. Wasn't vine something a long time ago? Like vine on the internet, okay. And now we have a starfish, all right. I mean, it's, for me, it feels like a, like a starfish is a, it, this, what I'm getting from this is like a, a, a performer. Someone's a dancer or performs something. Maybe a star, it might just be, I don't know, like a dancer of some sort, okay. And we have a dragonfly. We have a dragonfly, okay. Definitely a sign of transformation. I just feel like there's transformation all over this reading. And we have snowflakes, so somebody's getting some snowflakes or flurries or there's a winter storm, which that's pretty cliche because it is winter up here. Um, okay, and then I just heard the song Wild Horses. That That's somebody's favorite song or the lyrics, Wild Horses, Couldn't Drag Me Away. And then, um, Sonar, they're giving me sonar radar, sonar, okay? Or somebody's watching, uh, um, oh, they just said The Dark Knight, like a Batman movie or something, or is gonna be watching it or just watched it recently, or that's like somebody's favorite movie, okay? One more, all right, Siamese kitty, Siamese cat. Somebody might have a Siamese cat or is looking at one or looking at pictures or memes, something maybe on social media, a Siamese cat, or maybe you have one, okay? Very beautiful, it's a very beautiful cat, like gorgeous. This is like a um, high culture Siamese cat, <laughs> very, very beautiful. And I'm seeing a cat with light ice blue eyes as well, light ice blue eyes. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your messages there. I hope that that resonated or you got something out of it. Um, don't forget to join my channel and join me on Sunday for Members Only Chat. You can pop in the chat. It's $9.99 a month. Pop in the chat. Ask any question. I'll pull some cards. I'll be on for like an hour or so. And um, we'll just, you know, we'll have just a members chat. You know, even if you don't want to ask anything, you just hang out and I'll be talking one-on-one -on -one directly to you. And um, yeah, make sure you guys hit like on the video and do hit subscribe if you're new if you're new welcome i hope you enjoyed the chat and the video and i will see you guys very soon all right take care bye